Streams are the one of the fundamental concepts that power Node.js application. They are the way to handle reading, writing files, network communication, or any kind of end-to-end -end information exchange in an efficient way. In the traditional way, when you tell the program to read the file, the file is read into memory from start to finish, and then you process it. For example, let's say you're watching a daily tuition tutorial on YouTube. You want to move to the next section of this video. You can just simply click on this video timeline and move the timeline. When you click on the timeline, a new piece of data passes to the memory and process. So you'll get the result what you want. Using streams, you can read data or you can say you can get data piece by piece, processing its content without keeping it all in a memory. Streams basically provide two major advantage using other data handling, memory efficiency and time efficiency. In memory efficiency, you don't need to load large amount of data in memory before you are able to process it. And in time efficiency, it takes away a less time to start processing data as soon as you have it, rather than waiting till the whole data payload is available to start. Let me show you a very simple example of stream to understand how stream work in Node. I'm going to simply create here a variable constant HTTP is equal to, and I'm going to require a module HTTP. Just for that, we are going to work on files. So I'm going to say here constant fs is equal to and require the fs module then i'm going to create a server so i'm going to say here constant server is equal to http dot create server and i'm going to pass here a function as a callback function and to the callback function i'm going to say request and response and inside this i'm going to say fs dot read file so i'm going to call a synchronous method read file and to the first argument i'm going to simply pass the file path so in the single quote i'm going to say test.json so i'm going to pass this file name as a first argument to this read file method to the second argument i'm going to specify a callback function so we can work with this file data so here i'm going to say error as a first argument and data as a second argument just for that using this callback function i'm going to return a response to the request so here i'm going to say response dot and and i'm going to response with the data variable like this so this is a very simple example of file handling. Now just for that, down here, I'm going to say server.listen and I'm going to listen the server on 300 port. If you want to print a message, you can call here a callback function with console.log and in the double code we can say application started on port 3000. Just for that, save the changes and now let me execute this file. I'm going to have a message application started on port 3000. So I'm going to just open my browser to open this server. So I'm going to say here localhost 3000. I'm going to get the data from my file. So this statement will return the data from this test.json file. Now the read file reads the full content of the file and invoke this callback function when it's done. Just after that, we have the response.n method. Using this response.n method, we're going to return the file content to the HTTP client. If the file is big, the operation will take a quite a bit of time. And as you know, if your application is slow to load the data, the user will likely to leave from your application and close it. Now let me show you how to do the same thing with stream. So what I'm gonna do is here, I use the read file method. So instead of using this read file, I'm gonna use the stream method to get the data from this file. As I said earlier, if the file is too big, it takes time to load the data inside this data variable and return to the request. To save the time and return the data as soon as possible, we are going to use streams. So I'm going to get rid of this statement right from here. And here I'm going to create a variable constant stream is equal to fs dot create read stream. I'm going to call a method of fs module. Using fs module, I'm going to call a stream method. So here I'm going to say fs create read stream and in the parenthesis as a first argument I'm going to pass test.json. Just for that down here I'm going to call this stream dot pipe. I'm going to call a method of stream pipe and pass the response like this. Save the changes and now restart the server and execute this file. So I'm going to open my terminal and here I'm going to say node index.js. When I press enter it will just show me a message. Let me just back to my port and reload this browser. Now when I reload the browser, 
I can't see any effect here because this is a very small file. When we work on the big files, streams are very helpful. Instead of sending a whole data at once, stream will send the data piece by piece. Now let me explain this statement. Instead of waiting until the file is fully read, we start streaming it to the HTTP client as soon as we have a chunk of data ready to be sent. So using this statement, using this pipe method, we're going to send a chunk of data to this HTTP server. The pipe method is called on the file stream. It takes the source and pipes it into a destination. You call it on a source stream. So in this case, the file stream is piped to the HTTP response. So I hope you understand how to work with stream in Node. Next we'll see what is buffer.